just telling you how it is. You know, this is just the way things are. And so you kind of get a little discouraged and your faith flickers. Because you had the experience, you thought you knew, you took a stance to represent how you thought it was, and then suddenly it's all dead. And horrible, and ugly, and empty. And your faith flickers, and you say, I've lost it. And at times when the faith flickers, and you're part of an organization, or a belief system, or a technique, that's when you become more fanatic. In order to reinforce your flickering faith, you try to convince everybody else that it's true. So when you feel that fanaticism in another human being, you almost know immediately that their faith is flickering. Because when the faith in what you're doing is perfect, when you just are what you are, you don't have to convince anybody of anything. Faith flickers and it's often followed by what's called the dark night of the soul. I lost it. You have depression. And then you say, well, I'll just go back into the world because the whole thing was phony anyway. The whole spiritual trip was a hype. And all those people in the world that said there was nothing to it were right. Because I've lost it and I'm not going to get screwed by not having anything. I just don't have the world. So you go back into whatever part of the world you can grab onto it. And that's called this. Us what says to be phony unholy as opposed to phony holy. Because the problem is that once it's happened, you can't forget it. You might try, you might sit in the bar and drink and lust and talk about fast cars and look for rushes and trips and more and more rushes and trips. But you won't be able to forget because once you've awakened, you can't be back to sleep.